here and welcome to a new video. So today I thought that it might be quite a nice little video to film on my channel of me doing a full organisation, organise my life kind of video. That's what this video is going to be and I thought that I would just take you through the things that I'm going to do today to organise my flat myself and talk about what I do in general to organise my week and lists and things that I write. I like to write things down on paper because I enjoy writing and I also write lists on my laptop so I thought that I would show you some of the things that I do and also some of the things that I've recently been sent to review so I'm gonna give my little review of them when we get to that in this video but first of all I always go through each room of my flat and work on each room individually instead of just a whole sort of mess I just think okay let's start off with the kitchen so I'm going to show you what state the kitchen is in you can't see it at this level but it is not the greatest and I'm going to tidy it up I have let it get quite messy so that I could film this video and show it like really properly but just bear in mind this is mess from yesterday as well as today because today um is like the morning time so I'm just clearing up yesterday's mess but don't judge me because I'm about to tidy it and it will look a lot better. Here is the kitchen. We start off at the door. Here is the door. This isn't a tour, this is just a tidy up with me. But yeah, some of this stuff needs to be thrown out. Some of it needs to be washed up. This was a leftover pasta bake that needs throwing out because it's got mould on it now because I didn't get around to eating it, oopsie doopsies. And then there's just things out plates that need washing, an egg that stuck to the pan that Jamie tried to cook and then we had to swap it into that one. It's a long story. Um, oil everywhere that I need to clean and just things that I need to do and a lettuce that's kind of gone off that's like really soggy, um, which I won't eat that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tidy this, so wish me luck. washing up and doing a basic tidy up and I've got a rubbish bag of things to throw out so I'm gonna go outside and I'm just gonna throw this out into the wheelie bin so yeah I'm also throwing out this that is the Amazon package Hang on. the red arrows that's the Amazon package of the thing that I'm gonna be showing you later on so yeah Okay, so, so far, we have the washing up bowl still there, you know, we're gonna sort that. But I've done the washing up and as you can see, there is a concerning amount of washing up that has been done, but that is now done. Also, I'd recommend getting one of these. This is a good, like, not organizational thing, but a good thing if you've got your own, like, little place, is like one of these mats, because obviously I could not fit all of this in here because it's already stacked up really high. So I've got this and it means that I can stack up my pots. If I didn't have this here, then it would be on the surface and water would be everywhere. Whereas this soaks it up and then just put it in the washing machine every so often. And yeah, that's really good. So it's still got like oil all over it. So I'm gonna show you a product that I love that's in here. So I just wanted to really quickly mention this. This is actually what I got from Lidl. It's the woodland pine concentrated disinfectant i'm not sure what the brand name precisely is because i just read uh, read some random stuff off here but this is amazing there was a pink one that i had before this one and that's how i got into this but i did get this from lidl yeah, it's just a spray you spray it onto surfaces it's an anti set and um, no it's a disinfectant so it just cleans surfaces so i use this for my kitchen and the smell is amazing like it literally leaves my kitchen smelling really nice it's not one of those sprays where it just smells nice for two seconds and then disappears this does 
um, last really well and yeah it says long lasting freshness which I can 100% vouch for so yeah I love this and I would recommend and they've got loads of different colours of this and I'm actually going to put this in a favourites video coming up soon um, well not soon at the end of September I'm going to do a favourites video including this because it is a damn favourite so I'm going to go spray the surfaces and wipe them down and get them clean This is looking a billion times better already. Obviously it would look even better if that was put away, but I need to let it dry. I leave my, um, what I've washed up out to dry instead of drying it with a tea towel because A, I can't be bothered and B, I don't like using a tea towel because tea towels can be quite dirty anyway and also I don't like the look of the fibres that are from the tea towel being and drying on my glasses and things like that so I don't do that. So yeah, this is this room pretty much done. There is stuff that I still want to clean in here. For example, I do want to clean like the sink area and underneath here but that's not something I do on a daily basis that's something I do occasionally so I'll do that another day let's move on to the bathroom the bathroom is right next to here this is not meant to be a tour as you can see we've got some clothes on the floor right there is obviously you know it's not the bestest bestest thing but we're working with it so I'm just gonna, you know, make everything look as best as it can. I am gonna thoroughly clean in here when I have more time. I've got to clean the sink as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just remove things like this and add a towel onto here because the towel is missing. Got it. Quick little revamp. That's how it's looking. I'm happy with that for today. Right, I've come through to the living room. This is slightly different to how it was previously because last night I literally moved things around. That sofa used to be over there and that table was over here where we now have a mirror. Um, but it's not meant to be a room tour, it's meant to be an organisation little video. Um, but I do have things to sort on here. So for example, this makeup here I just did down here because Jamie was having a nap upstairs so I'm going to take that up soon. But everything looks a lot tidier when that's gone so I'm going to sort that out and then sort the stuff out that's on the floor tidy that up and then I'll show you the organizational things I was sent and what I'm using them for so I've pretty much tidied this living room area this is what the sofa looks like I know it, it looks like it takes well it does take up the majority of the room but that's not a problem for me um but yeah this is like my most organizational kind of area so that's the area I'm going to show you most at the minute but there's my hamster my hamster Dean he's in there sleeping right now so you won't see him for a little while but yeah little fairy lights along there but yeah this is the organizational stuff I have my MacBook here which is where I edit my videos and basically do loads of stuff I've got some pens you know just some casual pens um but basically i was sent i will link down below the amazon sellers page by the way in the description but i was sent this whiteboard and these two like storage organizers i'll just quickly show you the whiteboard first because that's the thing i'm most excited about so this is what the whiteboard looks like and they uh sent me this as well as the organizers and i picked this out out of a choice of three different things because this is something that suits me most so this is what one of the things that they sell and you can literally stand it up so you can stand it up like that and sit it on a table it's double sided so this is one side and that's the other one so you could write something on this side and then something on the other side you can use this for like food shops or recipe ideas so just jot down a quick recipe or you can write down meal ideas or a little mini diary for me 
this will be great for when I'm at uni and I'm doing my lectures and instead of having to write everything on paper, for example, if I just want to do a calculation because I do accountancy, then I can just work it out on the whiteboard and then immediately rub it off so I'm not taking up loads of paper and wasting loads of paper. So yeah, it comes with two whiteboard pens and they have little um, whiteboard rubbers on the end. They're magnetic so they stick on here and then these little magnetic thingies so you can stick bits of paper on if you need to so i really like this and like i said i will be using it for uni but as a day-to-day -day basis i use and have started using this as my daily to-do list so i write down everything that i want to get done in the day and the reason why i like to do that on a whiteboard is because if you write it on paper and your plans change then it's really annoying to have to kind of scribble things out and rewrite it whereas if it's on a whiteboard you don't have to scribble it out you can just rub it out and then rewrite it and everything like that. I'm the kind of person that writes everything that I want to get done and then the times next to it. So I will insert a clip over the top of this showing you a typical kind of to-do list that I would do and things that I would write down and what the timings kind of look like and everything like that. Obviously, I don't always 100% stick to it, but it's good to try. So I will show you that as an overlay clip of how I would use this. But I think this is mainly going to be something that will benefit me when I'm at uni and I can literally just write down calculations and things that I'm maybe not so sure on on here practicing so that I can just rub it out and I don't need to waste paper. So that's the whiteboard. So I thought I would just show you what is written on here as well as just showing you in like a little clip because you know organize with me how do i think this through so i showed you the little book that i write down what i want to get done every day and i look at that every single morning and then i write a more like specific list don't always 100 percent stick to it but i try to um so as you can see what i do is i write what i want to get done i write the specific times and then little boxes to tick here there isn't specific times because i'm not entirely sure like what times that's going to be and i will update that after i've had my lunch so so far i've ticked a few things already today get dressed do my skincare and hair i just do that every single morning to get ready next one is to kind of wash up tidy up and do like the laundry so that's just tidying up and everything then i like to do a workout before i do any makeup or anything like that i do my ab workout and um, that's today each day is different some days will be a bum workout some days will be an arm workout and then i do a seven minute hit workout so i've done that then today this is not every day but i needed to take some pictures for a brand called vogue now and i need to send that to them and then i Put film whiteboard which is exactly what i'm doing now i'm very specific um so i'm doing that right now and then i'm gonna have my lunch next which is what i've written down after i've done this and edited the pictures from here actually um then this afternoon fake nails i need to do them because i'm going on a night out tonight with my friends well just a few drinks not really a night out but anyway um <clears throat> so shower is kind of next because I like to shower sort of to make sure that my hair's nice and soft before a night out um pack my stuff for Emma's which is basically I'm we're getting ready at Emma's house me and Steph are getting ready at Emma's house so I'm gonna be getting my makeup and everything to pack to take there I might go to Lidl and get myself a little um drink if my mum can take me if not then that's fine um just like a little cocktail or something a cheap one um as a pre-drink and then drinks out so yeah obviously I don't need to write down what I need to do for that but yeah so that's my kind of little list today as i go along i will tick things if things change i can rub them out etc by the way i ta fake tanned yesterday that's why my hands look really orange but yeah that's my little whiteboard they also sent me a couple of organizers i don't want to pick these up i will just show you them like this just because they've got stuff in them but basically i got sent two so again these are on their amazon website sorry these are on their amazon page i will link their amazon kind of link in the description for each of these products but basically you get two of them so two organizers they are shelf organizers so they are meant to kind of go on a shelf i don't really have any kind of shelves or anything that these can go on but i will probably in the future but for now i'm just going to sit them down like this which is exactly what you can do if you want to um but you can just stick it on a shelf and then put things on it just creates more space to put things in rather than having them just anywhere and everywhere but i like to have things like this and especially this one here which you can't really see um this has got books in it and things like that on the top is a book and i did do it last night it's like a little scrapbook kind of thing it's just 
things for me to plan in. It's my little planning book. I've got loads of blue books as well and these books are going to be for uni. I'm going to write all my uni stuff in there when I start back at uni again in October but this one here is just a random book of anything that I want but this is also what I'm doing my planning in. So I'll just quickly show you this um, and what I do in this roughly. I'm not going to speak about what I actually write down but I'm just going to show roughly what I do. So I start off on sort of the first page with a weekly plan. I always weekly plan even if I don't stick to what I do. I like to plan what I want to get done in the week roughly just so that I have some kind of thing to do because like I don't have a job or anything so I like to do a few things around the house and also things on my channel take up a lot of time. So for example each day I will choose something to do around the house and today is to clean the living room and the surfaces and dust and everything like that because that does need doing so I'll do that later on and I also want to fake tan and do my nails today because I'm going to see my friends tomorrow and also I include what workouts I'm going to do and everything like that so it's all very like structured. I do also plan what posts I'm going to put on Facebook and on my Instagram for my um, skincare brand Fresh Face which I will link in the description if you want to go and check that out but I do also put all of that and write all of that on here and plan it all out and it does take me you know a little while um so yeah that's thursday which is today for me friday saturday and then i plan up to sunday i do usually start my planning from monday up to sunday but i started midweek this week because i wasn't feeling myself at the beginning of the week but i'm much happier now and then I write down this little thing which I think is a good thing to do that I've started doing is to each day at the end of the day which is what I used to do and I'm gonna keep doing now is to write things that I've done good in the day and things that I'm happy with in the day just to make me feel happier and just to really think about oh why was that day a good day and then things that I wasn't so happy with didn't go so well in the day and then what I would like to improve on for the next day so as you can tell I like organization I used to want to be a teacher so I'm kind of like that kind of like do you know what I mean like you see what's good see what's bad what can you improve on so that's what I do and then today I can see oh yeah I didn't want to go on my phone as much today or um what else did I put? Oh yeah, I didn't tidy up before I went to bed last night. That's why I had loads of washing up. So I would like to do that today. So just things like that. But yeah, I really like this little planny book. So that's what I do planning on here. And then every single day I will see what I've done on my weekly planner. I will go onto my MacBook and then I will, um, actually no, I won't. I've shown you that on my whiteboard. What do I do on my MacBook? I actually don't do anything on my MacBook. I used to do all my planning on my MacBook, but I don't anymore because I just don't want to spend too much time on my computer because I use that for editing videos and all that kind of stuff, watching YouTube videos, and I just think that takes up quite a lot of mental space staring at a screen all the time and doing that. So I like to do things on paper as well. So I've kind of switched all of what I would normally do on my computer when it comes to planning onto paper and my whiteboard and I'm very happy. So I'm just going to put this down and keep it there. But yeah, I think that is pretty much everything for this video. It is kind of very straightforward, but the purpose of this video was just like a little organized with me, how I kind of organized my like morning routine, everything like that. So general things that I do, just tidy up, wash up, everything like that, just a rough basic outline, things with the whiteboard, the organizers. So if you're interested in the whiteboard and the organizers, which I will link the Amazon sellers um, kind of page in the description, then go and check that out because I think if you're like me, which you probably are if you're watching my videos and you like organization, then you might like this too. The whiteboard is especially good if you're at uni or school and I just like the organizers just for kind of things to be put in them rather than just randomly placed. And you can use them in the kitchen, you can use them in the bathroom, anywhere, like just put anything in them, like you could put anything in them. I was thinking that I could put the my skincare products in these, but there's not enough room in my bathroom as you probably saw a few minutes ago, but yeah. I'm very happy with these so thank you to them for sending me these because they didn't have to send me the whiteboard they sent me that um, as like an afterthought so thank you for that because that's my favorite thing I really love that and I'm so glad I've got that so yeah that is everything for this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it 
and I feel like it was a little bit too quick. I feel like I have other things to say. I could show you upstairs, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video because I'm gonna do and organize my wardrobe with me and see what I can kind of get rid of. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.